Thanks for joining and welcome back. Today's project is replacing the brake pads on my 2016 R1200 RT. The project's actually identical. I have a 2014 R1200 GS. The project's exactly the same. Um, my RT has about 35,000 miles and I think it's time to change the brake pad. So the manual calls for uh, centered brake pads on the front and organic brake pads on the rear. So I have selected these EBC brake pads um, FA209-2 for the rear and FA630HH for the front. I have a pair of them uh, to uh, replace the front brake pads. So it uh, should be an easy project. Uh, Let's have fun, let's go get to it. Okay, now we're gonna remove these uh, two bolts that hold on the caliper. Uh, I need to use a 13 millimeter socket to um, uh, take off the caliper. Okay, these just slide right off. An important step in this process is to give these brakes a little twist in both directions so we're forcing the pistons back. Makes it easier to get on. Okay. Okay, if you have any if you need to push the pistons back a little further, you can use some channel locks like this and just get in there and give it a nice squeeze to get the, uh, the pistons all the way back if you need to. Okay, I'm gonna remove this pin right there. Take out the bolt. Pull that all the way out. And then here's both the brake pads. Just slide right on out. They look like they need uh, replacement. Uh, the minimum wear on these brake pads is four millimeters for the front. So I will measure these, but they certainly look like they are in need of replacement. Okay, here are my new brake pads going in. Nice and easy, they just, that one slides down there. This one slides down in here. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, we've got both brake pads set in there. Put our tensioner back in place. So it goes right there. You can notice this indentation goes right where the bolt goes. Okay. Get everything aligned back in. Slip this on to the disc brake. We're going to torque to 19 Newton meters. There we go, 19. Now we need to replace our uh, little locking clip. So I've got that on. 
mount that back on the brake, disc brake. Okay. These caliper bolts get torqued to 38 newton meters. Okay. Okay, we've moved over to the rear brake. Um, if you're doing this on a liquid-cooled R1200GS, you'll need to remove the, uh, the mud flap, which screws into these three bolts, but this is an RT, uh, so I don't have that. So we're gonna remove these, uh, these clips first. One, two. Let's disconnect this ABS cable right here. All right, we'll remove the two bolts here that hold the caliper on. It's a T40 Okay, let's remove this pin. Right there. Well, that brake just fell right out. I'm gonna give these a little wiggle so we can make some room back there. Okay, there's that one rear, the other rear. Those actually look like they still have mileage left in them, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace these since I've done the fronts. All right, both brake pads are out. Take a look inside. I should be able to push these back with my fingers. Sure can. So I'm compressing both pistons with my hands. There we go, all the way in. Good. As you can see, this brake is just going to fit right in there and snug up right there. Okay. All right. So we'll slide this in here and into place. Okay. Slide the other side in. We'll replace the pin. Back through. There we go. All right, pin is through. Put our caliper bolts back on. We're going to torque it to 24 newton meters. Let's reconnect our ABS cable there and install our two pins. Wow. 
There we go. All right, there we have it. We replaced uh, the front and rear brake pads on my R1200 RT. This was a liquid cooled version, the exact same process for the liquid cooled GS. The entire project cost me $107. I bought the uh, EBC brake pads from Amazon. So, uh, very easy project. I, I hope you will now endeavor to uh, replace your own brake pads and save yourself hundreds of dollars. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.